If you travel in a small camper like we do, or a small van, you may use the baguette method of human waste disposal, like us. This is common if you tend to boondock away from RV dumps and civilization in general. We tested nine products. Our goal is to find the best and cheapest way to solidify two quarts of liquid waste. I'll refer to this as a daily amount and a daily cost, but it is typically a maximum daily amount and may last two days depending on where we are. Skip ahead to the conclusions if you want to avoid all the kitchen science. We conducted these tests in three phases. In phase one, we tried to find a solution of sodium chloride or table salt that would mimic urine absorption in polyacrylates since the salts in urine reduce the absorption in these polymers. In phase two, we tested six polyacrylates plus pine pellets and cat litter for absorption efficiency. After finding sodium polyacrylates to all be fairly similar and the most effective, we searched for the cheapest one we could find on Amazon and ordered some. In phase three, we tested it. Here are the solidification agents we tested. Restop 2 is widely used by outdoor adventurers in places where you can't or shouldn't dig a cat hole. It's a one-time use type of bag with a very sturdy Ziploc bag, gelling agent, toilet paper, and a towelette. Go Anywhere bags or WAG bags are also widely used and are made by clean waste to go with their portable toilet. The package says it can absorb 32 ounces of liquid and solid waste. Eco Absorbent Gel comes in little 10 gram packets that say it can absorb 2 liters of liquid waste. That's about 34 fluid ounces. We'll see. Curex Commode Liners are a similar product but meant for home health care industry. The gel in it comes in a sturdy plastic commode liner and it says each one will absorb up to 2 quarts of liquid waste. Kids Instant Snow is another polyacrylate sold for kids to have fun with. Who knows, maybe it's cheaper than the others. And I happen to have some around, so why not? miracle Grow water storing crystals are used for growing plants, so they're probably potassium polyacrylate rather than sodium polyacrylate. But they both absorb water. And we've been using miracle Grow crystals for about three years now. Pine pellet horse bedding is used by a number of camper and van YouTubers. So we decided to add it to the test. The pellets are pretty inexpensive and smell really good. A lot of camper and van YouTubers mention using cat litter also. This is typically a clay that absorbs water and may clump around solid waste. We'll try it too, even though we are only testing liquid. If you use pellets, cat litter, or any of these polyacrylate gelling agents mainly for poop, that's cool, but this video may not be as relevant for you. This is mostly about solidifying the liquid portion of your waste stream. The polyacrylates are non-toxic and safe to use as long as you don't get the dust in your eyes. They're the same super absorbents used in baby diapers and kids' instant snow. We use the same test procedure for all three phases. First, we put a measured amount of gelling agent in a baggie. We use 10 cc's for polyacrylates and 4 fluid ounces or half a cup for pine, pellets, and cat litter. Next, we added liquid waste slowly until it is no longer absorbed and some free water appears. Finally, we poke holes in the bag to drain any free liquid and weigh each bag to determine the amount of liquid that was absorbed. We tested distilled water in three solutions of sodium chloride in distilled water that would bracket the salinity of urine based on clearance and daily urine volume statistics. We tested the real stuff, distilled water, and a range of salt solutions in distilled water, including a mid-range sodium content in urine, a maximum sodium content in urine, and 10 times the max, just to make sure. Here are the data. 
You can see a strong effect, but fortunately the real stuff lies between our mid-range and max range solutions. Let's zoom in. Now you can see where the real stuff lies on the curve, and if we go down to the x-axis, we find the sodium chloride concentration that best matches the real stuff. 13.4 grams per liter of sodium chloride. So we'll make up more salt solution in that concentration for the rest of the testing. In the second set of tests, we used 10 cc's of each gelling agent to compare absorbency using our simulated urine. As I said, for the pine pellets and cat litter, we used four fluid ounces or one cup. We added liquid until each was oversaturated, drained the free liquid in the cups, then weighed the bags to determine the weight of absorbed liquid. From these tests, we concluded that the polyacrylate-based products all absorb about 30 to 40 times their weight in simulated urine, and the pine pellets and cat litter are far less. But what's the most cost-effective? Now we'll look at the cost per gram of each product to determine the most cost-effective solidification agent. We found six other polyacrylate products on Amazon that we did not test, but we will assume that they work about as well as the best polyacrylate agent we tested, so we can compare cost-effectiveness for a wide range of products. The winner in terms of cost-effectiveness is pine pellets by far. 29 cents per day for a half gallon. And the most cost effective polyacrylate product appears to be Wenga de degradable gel. For our half gallon design basis, we need only four to six tablespoons of polyacrylate products, but we need over a quart of pine pellets and nearly five pounds of cat litter. This amount of pine pellets or cat litter will fill up your toilet without much room for waste. So these are both a fail for now, but stay tuned. In our Wenga gel test with simulated urine and the real stuff, we confirmed that the new product was similar to the other polyacrylates, but even a little more absorbent, and that the case with the real stuff was very close to the simulated urine, but a little bit better. So with the new data, we find that only about 48 cc's of Wenga, or about two capfuls, was needed to solidify a half gallon of real urine, and its cost ended up being only a dollar fifteen a day. That's much better than we were getting with the Miracle Grow crystals. Well, enough testing. It was time for a road trip to our favorite spring spot, Death Valley, for a week of warm boondocking. We wanted to test the Wenga, winner of our testing program, but we still had about 35 pounds of pine pellets. Since they were the cheapest and they smell so good, we decided to try a 75% dose of Wenga along with a 25% dose of pine pellets, or about one cup, as we felt that amount would not pre-fill our toilet too much. This was three tablespoons Wenga to one cup pine pellets, and it worked spectacularly. The combined cost dropped to 94 cents per half gallon of liquid, and the toilet had a really nice pine aroma, even when saturated with wet liquid waste. So in conclusion, cat litter and pine pellets are probably fine for a mostly solid waste stream, but if you collect up to a half gallon of liquid waste at a time, those products will overfill your toilet. In that case, the Wenga Degradable Gel works great and is the cheapest polyacrylate at only $1.15 for about 4 tablespoons per half gallon. We're going to go with a slightly cheaper variation that smells great. 3 tablespoons Wenga and 1 cup pine pellets at a cost of about $0.94. Cents. We hope this has helped you think through your waste management approach. Everyone has their own approach, and if yours works for you, don't change a thing. Let us know if you have any questions or suggestions for us that we can learn from. Thanks much for tuning in.